Welcome, welcome back and I need help at C squared. In this example, we convert two uh, measures, two angles or two arcs, one is 60, one is 135 in radians. Radian is, is another way to measure angles or arcs. And we are going to see two methods in here. That's the reason I have two uh, angles in degrees. And let's start with the first one. 60 degrees is kind of a special angle. Okay, and I'm going to use a, a little bit of common sense, right? Uh, in other words, we, we know that, uh, and you can watch that on my YouTube channel, that pi means 180 degrees, or 2 pi means 360, right? And now we're going to look to this 60. This 60, if you take a look, is one third of 180, right? 180 divided by 3, it's 60. So basically, now we know 60 degree is nothing else than pi over 3. So, like I said, here is kind of a common sense way to do this problem. 60 is one third of 180, or one sixth of 360. However, there is a formula that can be used. In fact, there are some proportion we can use, and that's the thing I'm going to do for the second one. Because sometimes it's not that easy to see uh, any relation between the angle or the measure of the angle or the measure of the r given and a radian. So in this case, you notice I have x over theta equals pi over 180. So basically here, what I'm going to plug in is 135 degrees for theta and we have a problem that will end up in something that we are very familiar cross, multi cross multiplication all right so we're going to have 180 times x equals 135 times pi divide by 180 and we have x equals 135 pi over 180 and this one can be simplified and we're going to try with our calculator we notice in 135 and 180 they have a common factor of 5 so 135 divided by 5 it's uh, what uh, 27 and 180 divided by pi is uh, by 5 I'm sorry 36. And we notice we can still simplify, right? Uh, by 9, right? 27 divided by 9 is 3. 36 divided by 9 is 4. That is the final answer. Nothing else can be done. So, uh, 135 degree is 3 pi over 4 or 3 fourths over pi. Uh, by the way, I think most of the time you're going to see this notation. Okay? So, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to click the like button and come back and see square. Thank you.